Today, we're deep diving into the crucial role of water flow, specifically what your return pump does and how to choose the right one for your system. Whether you're just keeping fish or a vibrant reef, understanding flow is key to success. This water flow is absolutely critical in a saltwater aquarium. You know, for your fish, proper flow isn't just about comfort. It's how they actually get oxygen they need through efficient gas exchange. Plus, it's the current that actively transports waste and nutrients towards your filtration, keeping your entire system healthy. Now, if you're keeping corals, flow becomes even more vital. It's how they receive food and essential nutrients, and it helps them shed any waste products. Think of it as their delivery and sanitation system all in one. So how do we create this all-important flow? Well, aquarists typically rely on two main types of pumps, power heads and the return pump. Power heads are your internal flow experts. They live inside the display tank and create those internal currents and water movement that corals love. The return pump, on the other hand, is the heart of your filtration system. If you have a sump located below your main display, the return pump is what pushes the filtered water from the sump back up into the aquarium. Now, if you have an all-in-one style tank, the return pump works a little differently in its placement, but the job is the same. It circulates water through those back built-in chambers and then back into the main display. In either setup, the return pump is creating that continuous circular flow. Water goes to the filtration, gets cleaned, and then returns back to the display. Now, I know choosing the right return pump might seem a bit daunting at first, but the good news is with a few simple guidelines, you can feel confident you're making the right choice. The power of a water pump is usually rated in gallons per hour or GPH. Now keep in mind that the advertised GPH is the maximum flow that a pump can achieve when there's no resistance. Imagine it running just sitting in a bucket, right? And this is usually the industry standard for rating pumps but it doesn't tell the whole story once you plumb it into your system. Once you connect that pump to tubing or PVC, it creates head pressure. And this head pressure will reduce the actual flow rate you get in your tank. So we need to factor this in when selecting our return pump. So how do you figure out what size pump you need? For reef aquariums, a general rule of thumb among hobbyists is to aim for a return pump that could theoretically turn over your tank's total water volume at least five to 10 times per hour. So for a 50 gallon tank, you typically start by looking at return pumps rated between 250 and 500 gallons per hour. Now remember head pressure? Once the pump is plumbed in, the actual flow in your tank will be lower. In this example, it might end up in the 150 to 350 gallon per hour range, which is often ideal. While aiming for a turnover rate of 10 times your tank volume per hour is the high end, many reef keepers find success with a slower rate of two to five times per hour after accounting for head pressure. This slower flow can improve filtration in your sump and even make your system a little quieter. Ultimately, a return pump that provides a total water volume turnover rate of anywhere from two to 10 times per hour through your filtration is generally considered acceptable. Now let's really dig into head pressure. Pumping water up to your display tank is work for the pump. Gravity and the friction of the water moving through your pipes, tubing, and any valves all creates resistance, which reduces the water flow rate. The higher and further the pump has to push the water, the harder it works and the less flow you'll get. This resistance is what we call head pressure. Every one foot of vertical rise equals one foot of head pressure. Every 90 degree elbow fitting equals one foot of head pressure. A 45 degree elbow fitting equals 0.5 feet of head pressure. And every 10 feet of horizontal distance equals one foot of head pressure. So let's say your water needs to rise about four feet vertically, travel another four feet horizontally, and go through two 90 degree elbows. That would be roughly four vertical feet equals four feet of head pressure plus four feet of horizontal equals 0.4 feet of head pressure, plus two times 90 degree elbows is two foot of head pressure for a total of 6.4 feet of total head pressure. Now this is where the pump manufacturer's flow chart comes in handy. 
These charts show the actual flow rate a pump will deliver at different amounts of head pressure. Using a flow chart like this example based on the Neptune Core 15, we can see that at our calculated 6.4 feet of head pressure, we might get around 700 gallons per hour of actual flow. These are just estimates, but this calculation helps you get in the right ballpark for your system. To wrap things up, there are a few key things to remember when choosing your return pump. Air on the side of a slightly more powerful pump. You can always reduce flow with a valve or a controllable DC pump, but you can't make an undersized pump go faster. Having a little extra flow capacity can also be a great thing if you decide to add things like reactors or UV sterilizers without sacrificing flow to your main display. Just make sure the pump physically fits in your sump and account for any guards or power cords. For AC pumps, always plumb them with an inline valve that has a true union connection. This lets you control the flow and easily disconnect the pump for maintenance. DC powered controllable pumps are fantastic because their electronic controllers allow you to adjust the speed and flow rate, making it easy to dial into your system's flow. They also tend to run quieter and are more energy efficient. And while a valve is still a good idea, it's not always strictly necessary for flow control with a DC pump. So there you have it, a breakdown of return pumps and how to size them for your saltwater aquarium. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of this vital piece of equipment. Be sure to check out BulkReefSupply.com for all your return pump needs. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more reefing content. Thanks for watching and happy reefing everyone.